Hello YouTube, welcome to my Hammond organ business. Vintage B3 Organ Incorporated. This is my vintage Cherry B3. It's a 1963 model. And this is the one that you see me playing most often on YouTube videos and it's fired up and ready to go and I'll play it in, in a little bit but I want to show you around my vintage B3 organ business before I do um, <clears throat> here you see some boxes these boxes have speakers that need to be recombed I just took about 20 one and 22 of these types of speakers professional speakers these are woofers like uh, like over here that uh, go in the bottom of Leslie's see right down in there and um, you have to have them recone otherwise if you put uh, used speakers into these Leslie cabinets then they'll they'll blow and so, as you see here, I have a Leslie cabinet here that I need to uh, uh, install all the parts in. And this is one that's complete over here. It's a cherry cabinet that matches my cherry B3. Here's a black cabinet, and it has all the components in it. Just I just have to install an amp in there, and you'll see in the next room that I have plenty of amps to rebuild. Uh, I have uh, Leslie's over here. All of the components are in this uh, cabinet except uh, an amp. It's missing an amp down there. A 122. Here's a, another, another Leslie cabinet back here. I'll uh, remove all of the components in this Leslie amp and uh, in this Leslie uh, tone cabinet and restore those. Uh, in fact, it looks like uh, the cabinet is pretty much empty it still has some motors in there and uh, but the speaker I've already removed and had it uh, taken out to be reconed um, this is a B2 organ over here that I am restoring back into its uh, original condition and uh, so I have it taken apart I'll take you over here and you can see that I'm doing work on the pedals down there and so um, so that I have, I have all that up because I have to do redo the pedals. Uh, that's what all those boards are for to keep the pedal board up, so that I can do that work. Um, these are all uh, you have to ignore my wife's Christmas stuff back there, Christmas decorations. But all of those are Leslie's that that stuff is sitting on top of. Um, I have over twenty five or over twenty five Leslie's down here. Um, <clears throat> these are completed Leslie's and I believe this one here just needs an amp install it'll have an amp pretty soon in it and then here's another one that uh, I'll have to install everything on so okay all right now here we go had a little visitor there and she's gone now okay it's, it's very late here so it's time to go to bed this is a Leslie that I've been working on and I've installed all the parts into well actually this is one that I still have to uh, break down take all the parts out clean the motors and then clean the cabinet out um, but I've been using it as a Leslie to try out um, as a Leslie cabinet to try out the amps that I'm rebuilding like I just finished rebuilding this amp today I worked on this amp this beautiful um, 122 amplifier installed a brand new track relay relay a uh, solid state relay in this amp and uh, I've been playing it so I'll let you hear how it sounds so this one has all the vintage the vintage motors, the vintage speakers in it, the a V21 upper driver in it. So this is a vintage 122R 
the Leslie here. That's what this is. And um, I'll, I'll take it apart, though, and, and have my son, who does the motors for me, to rebuild the motors. And real, I'll have the uh, C15L, which is in there for the woofer, I'll have that recombed. All right, so here's more Leslie's. These all these Leslie's are all together. They have all everything in them that they need. This is one that uh, is all together except that it's it needs a an amplifier. This is a 22R. This is the precursor to the 122R and the 122RV. It does not have it's a R because it does not have. Uh, it, it, well, it's a 122R, which means that you can put the reverb in there. These had some of them had reverbs, and some of them did not have reverb units. And um, in fact, I have one over here that has a reverb reverberation unit in it. Uh, where is that? Uh, here it is, right here. This one has an original reverberation. You can see the little stem sticking right here out. That's a volume for the reverberation unit that's located inside of there it sounds fantastic I mean it's great so this is a one this is a 22 R Leslie and it has with the reverb unit the original in fact these let me say for those of you who are the Hammond historians the reverb unit in these old Leslie's like this um, were the same reverb units that was used in the A100 so if you heard a 100 reverb then that's the same reverb system that's in that particular Leslie. Now this one over here, this cabinet does not have that reverb system. So and and, and these these Leslie's, the 228, the 22 R's had used a 22 uh H Leslie uh which is a one speed. It's off and on. So they have one speed motors in here and they use a one speed amplifier. Now you could put a two speed amplifier in there but um, you would only be using one speed because of the one speed motors unless you use a kit. I'll show you the kit in the next room because uh, that's a this is a preamp that I've rebuilt preamp that I rebuilt for my B2 here so the preamp is now ready to be reinstalled. I'll show you what it looks like <coughs> that's a preamp rebuild there I mean, I just I went through this thing and read the schematics and redid this thing and just rebuilt it. And it's ready to be reinstalled now. And it should sound fantastic. should sound very good. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's go on into the next room. Ah, oh, it says closed. But you see, as president of Vintage B3 Oregon Incorporated, I can change the sign here and make this now open. Oh, by the way, you see my signs here, Leslie, uh, Hammond sign. And of course, North Carolina A&T State University, Aggie Pride. We used to say Aggie born, Aggie bred. When I die, I'll be an Aggie dead. And those of us that know that slogan, we still say that. All right, let's go on into uh, the where the action happens in terms of the electronics that is done, the electronic work that is that is done in this in this business in my business here. Um, got my clock here, so I know what time it is. See, it's very late. It's very late after two o'clock here. You see some. Uh, in, uh, instrumentation there, and uh, oscilloscope, and a Fluke 45 multimeter, right? The very expensive multimeter. Uh, here are some here are some Leslie amplifiers there that I have ready to go. Uh, this is a 47 down there. Those are 147 amps that are, I mean, essentially new amplifiers that are ready to go. There's this is a Leslie. These are two uh, 22H. Amplifiers. In fact, one of them, I believe this one, uses a 5U4 tube. Yes, this this one here uses a 5U4 tube, and this one does not use a 5U4 tube. But these amplifiers sound great. Um, I'm going to replace the relays in both of these. I'm going to put a 
a new relay switch in both of them. So I'll do that um, pretty soon. And I'm waiting on another part to go along with the relay. Here's that uh, motor speed control that I was talking about. It's called a Hamptone. And if I, I can put this in a 22R and it'll make it a two speed Leslie just like a 122. This little bad boy here, this is a Hamptone uh, Game Treble bass box. I mean, this thing will boost the sound of a Hammond B3 organ. It's got the three, it's an equalizer, EQ. And it, I mean, it'll boost the volume uh, of your organ. There are things that I do to my, to the Leslie amplifiers and to my organ anyway to boost it, but this gives extra boost. And uh, in fact, I have one of those units on my B3 as you can see it right down there it's installed there so I do have one of those installed and can let you see how that sounds a little bit later let's go back into the room here alright now this area here this is my this is my eBay shelf where I have boxes of stuff that I'll be putting on eBay pretty soon there's my old license plate there and the freezer's got some food in it there, some frozen stuff. Um, my travel box, my travel case, my son's case where he keeps his tools. Uh, this is my son Austin, uh, Arrington's station. My son uh, Arrington, I have three sons, and, and they all uh, have worked in the business with me at various, uh, various levels. And uh, Arrington has been most involved in terms of the mechanical aspects of, of, the, of the business, and he is a splendid repair of of Leslie motors as you can see here he has motors on on the stand there that he has to get to um, he has motors in a box there's a box under his table with motors and cords that he has to get to and do things with and work on it but he's got all these motors here on the table here here he has tools and fluids and everything that he needs to make those motors I mean, hump. He can do it. Arrington is good with it. And more toolboxes there. Um, here's my station. Oh, well, before we get to my station, I'll show you some of the some of the resources that I have here. Um, beautiful. There's a beautiful Hammond sign. Here's another Hammond sign. Um, yeah, I got books. Uh, yes, I did study uh, some electronics. In fact, that was my that's my textbook uh, from from the college. Uh, university essentials of electronics that's the book right there that's the textbook we used in the class in electronics great college class to have if you're gonna do this kind of work electronics class you need that and uh, this is one of the greatest books that's ever been produced with regard to understanding electrical design of old-fashioned or vintage tubes um, this book right here and so if you're into restoring vintage amplifiers you want to have a copy of that book it's a great book to have and then here are a few more other books just for, for Hammond lovers that I have on my shelf I have kits uh, to rebuild amplifiers already already together for AO28 amplifier reverb uh, kits I have my staplers and all my equipment that I need drills and everything um, things to, to make the job easier uh, my fluids down here cleaning fluids and supplies that I need to do things to clean up cabinets and clean organs and boxes of supplies and parts right here uh, we have uh, motors that Arrington has already completed rebuilding other parts uh, these are crossovers crossover box of crossover here a crossover in this box another motor here need to move these motors I got some motors two couple of motors up there okay some motors some speakers reverb speakers uh, rotors there um, cable uh, other things that are you know they're needed that's a 747 uh, tube tester right there and one of the best on the market that uh, my dad gave to me and here's another 747 that my dad gave to me that we used by B&K B&K solid state tube tester this is what we use 
to test tubes. Here, I'll open up this one and let you see what it looks like. Uh, my dad uh, ran a radio and television shop, and he used to use this in his radio and TV shop when I was growing up. And um, he was a electronics teacher, radio and television teacher, at the high school that I attended. And so this is a B&K 747, very expensive tube tester. You can get on eBay and look these up and see that these are very expensive. This is a very expensive instrument, but it does the job. It allows us to test the quality of, of tubes and uh, to determine whether they're good or not good for use anymore. And that's that's very that's very important. We do, do a lot of tube testing. Here's a in fact here's a bag of tubes that Arrington has tested and determined to be useful. So those are going on eBay for sale. And uh, for those who uh, there are people there are a lot of people in in foreign countries that uh, will buy the used tubes because it's harder in other countries to get some of these uh, same items they're, or they're or at a decent at a reasonable price now here are new tubes that I use for my customers organs and for their Leslie's um, new tubes here um, the, uh, you got uh, upper driver this is a brand new upper driver I just got from BB Organ just visited Bill Brown up in uh, Freetley Minnesota uh, here's a track 2 motor control relay uh, right there that I just installed into that amplifier you just that 122 install that today here's some v21 up Leslie upper drivers there some can capacitors and some other fluids that are that I need so I mean you, you got everything I need that I need to do the job here here's the Hammond dock station here the Hammond dock station this is where I sit here's my chair there and I sit here and this is what I look at each day when I'm down here in the summertime working in my business I'm an entrepreneur guys you want to be an entrepreneur come on you got to find something that you love I was listening to I listened to the Michael Bays in there and I've been an entrepreneur and doing organs de dealing with ham and organs since I was in, uh, about 23 years since I was about 23 years old I've been selling Hammond organs and grad as a graduate student I started selling Hammond organs now I've been playing Hammond organs since I was 12 years old and my father taught me how to uh, do basic maintenance on the Hammond organ so that's when I started learning how to work on the Hammond organ when I was about 12 but uh, actually when I was 12 um, my father got me started doing that but when I was about 22 or 23 years old I actually started about 23 years old. I started selling Hammond organs, buying them and selling them. Um, and I, I love doing that. Enjoy doing that. These are 147s, uh, Leslie speaker, Leslie uh, Leslie amplifiers. These are these are the amplifiers that go into those Leslie speakers. Uh, 147s. Here's a, here's a 47 here. Here's another one. Here's another 47 right here. And these are this is a 122 that I have to do some work on. You see some Hammond clocks back there. This is my eBay eBay boxes. Those are those empty boxes back there except I do have some more uh, uh, some rotors back there for baffles. They call, they're call they called uh, baffles uh, for the base baffles in the Leslie tone cabinets. Down here on the floor are more amplifiers. These are all 122 amplifiers that are turned upside down um, they're in various state, various states of repair and dis disrepair. So I have to do different things to each of the amplifiers depending on. I've already done some diagnostic work, and I already know. For example, like this one, I know I need to recap it. Um, then I have notes on them. Uh, this is one. This one here with the yellow paper. I have to put a new, a new plug like this on it. I have to put another one of these on it. And in fact, I did one of those today. I did one. It, it's because uh, what happens is. 
sometimes these things will break and chip and so I replace them and uh, here's another amp here okay I see what what just fell out <clears throat> was uh, this this little uh, capacitor here just fell out uh, and so I'll put a new one of these in there and I may uh, recap this put new capacitors in there like the like the orange one here well, I'll often remove these but I'll test them I'll check them out and see sometimes I'll cha change out the resistors I'll change out the bad resistors here's one that I, here's a job that I've done you can see the orange drops there that I put in this one but I'll, I'll do a little bit more work on on all of these amplifiers before they're ready to go <sighs> what else here okay here's my refrigerator and like they do on that show with with the rich people they open up the refrigerator so you can see what's in the refrigerator and uh, as you see I have some Sunny D and I got some uh, Tropicana 100% uh, uh, Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice got this off of eBay actually off of eBay two, uh, two boxes of that off of eBay I like that jungle juice that jungle juice is very good you got some eggs in there and so my wife uses this refrigerator to store some, some things but uh, I usually store my drinks in there uh, juices and, and things like that and don't do too much soda pop trying to keep that stomach from bloating and getting getting too big there and don't want my stomach sticking all out and so I drink juice rather than all the pop and stuff here you go uh, we call them soda I'm from North Carolina we say sodas um, the Leslie and of course 06 and hey I want to show you this if I plug this I'm gonna plug this in and you'll see I think you'll like this if you have looked on my Facebook page you will see this sign here that's the Hammond organ sign all right and that's what it looks like when it's plugged up you can't hardly see it when it's not plugged okay <sighs> that's pretty much it I mean that's this is my room and I have stuff under the shelves here and things that I need and I use those bottles here um, this is my this is some vitamin C bottle that I have, and I use these bottles for uh, uh, keeping screws, for putting screws in from the for the Leslies. There's some picture frames here. This is a kit that I put together for a church. It has uh, some parts in it, so there's there's an organ that I have to work on in Illinois. I'm gonna do some work on, so I put together a kit with uh, things that I'm gonna need at that church so I can t pick that box up and take it with me and I'll have pretty much everything that I need as far as putting on that organ getting that organ it has got a second Leslie that I'm installing and so it, that box has everything that I'll need in it I'm getting ready to put this kit here on an A100 that I just that I just purchased Ooh, whew, almost broke this tube well let me show you this these tubes are very, very expensive. I don't want to tell you <laughs> how much one of these tubes are. Who almost broke that thing. I caught it with my foot. <laughs> I caught it with my foot. But that's a very, very expensive and valuable tube. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it over here. Very valuable. That's a vintage, that's a vintage uh ton sole. <laughs> you can get on eBay and look at uh, what vintage ton soles uh sell for. This is one. This is this is what Jimi Hendrix used in his amplifier, the vintage tongue sole. This is a 65, 6550 tongue sole, 6550, and I have many of those that I use. So very, very valuable stuff. Um, but I was telling you about this kit that I'm going to use to put on my A100. This is the 26-1 box that I'll install in the A100 that I just purchased and um, <clears throat> what that will allow me, this will allow me to do is um, use the speakers in the organ as well as the Leslie speaker um, and so I'll be able to run both sets of speakers at the same time 
and I have two kit. What these are? These are the switches. These are, uh, you know, uh, the the tremolo crum, cr and uh, corral switch, as well as a uh, switch that allows you to do an echo from the organ to cut the organs speakers on and off and cut on the Leslie speaker on and off or have both that's what that allows you to do okay let's see is there anything else here well here's a I'm since I've taken all of my woofers to uh, the man in Kansas City to have them recone I'm, I'm very I'm, I'm low on my supply of uh, woofers right now base woofers but I'll show you this one this this is a a Recone JBL 2225. I mean, it's a wonderful uh, speaker. I mean, and it carries all the watts that it has, all the watts that I would need for any applications that I use. So I like to use those uh, JBLs in my personal Leslie's. They're very expensive, very, very expensive. I use those in my personal uh, Leslie's. And uh, I just recently started doing it. I, before that, I was using exclusively uh, these vintage Recone P15LLs by Jensen. But, uh, and I still love those. But I've found those JBLs, and they are rated at a higher wattage uh, than the uh, P15L, so they can carry a bigger bounce, a bigger bass, if you will. And so I'm installing those in my systems, and but I still sell these uh, these speakers here, these P15Ls, because they are great sounding speakers. Now this Leslie, I'm going to rebuild and put it in, use it for my rental B3 system, and that's what it's going to be for. And I'll have, in fact, that uh, JBL bass woofer that you just saw will be installed in this Leslie here. All right, well. That's, that's it for my room, or my rooms, my business. Um, if you need anything, you need a Hammond organ. I have a supply of Hammond organs, B3s, uh, A100. Uh, you, 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 you tell me what you need. A100, B3, C3, and if I, uh, I, I, can, I can get it for you. I have some in stock. If I don't have what you want in stock, then I can get it for you and have it for you. So you, you let me know and just send me a YouTube message. Let me know, Dr. Kemp, I'm ready. And, and now, now, don't be sending me no message if you ain't got no money. It costs money to, to have these organs. So, so uh, get your money together and then let me know. All right, get ready here for some music. We're gonna play and let you, I'm gonna let you hear this Cherry B3. Peace.